Hey you guys, it's Mikkel from the Monson Schoolhouse and I am here to do a video that I know a lot of you guys have been anticipating and waiting for, the Good and the Beautiful Math 1 Part 2. Today is really a special day because officially, today, you can now officially buy Math 1. So many of you have been patient and let me tell you, patience pays off. It always does. I wanted to do something special for you guys um, uh, to show how much I love you, how much I appreciate you. And um, so The Good and the Beautiful is giving all of you guys 10% off of your order. I'm so excited. I'm going to put the coupon code down below. I know you guys are like bursting at the seams. Everything they put out is quality. It's absolutely fabulous. It creates that connection between parent and child. And it is this connection that really like pulls you together. It just has this wholesome healing quality about it. But I, sh but we shouldn't be surprised because that's what the good and the beautiful does. This curriculum is on It's just open and go. You guys, honestly, the most preparation that I do is literally I get his math book out. I turn to the lesson and I see what I need to get out. It tells you what, what you need for the day. Um, and then I get it out of the activity box that, that comes with the curriculum. And, and then I just, I just read through it. I spend maybe five seconds preparing. <laughs> they have done all the work and mom gets all the credit. Um, it's, it's just beautiful how they've done it. With my math one video, I did include the activity box in that video. So I'm going to link that video below for the math one part one. It has the activity box um, in that video. I'm not going to be including the activity box in this video. This video is flipping through the this book, um, the part two. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through so you guys can see it. Also, a lot of you guys had questions on my math one part one video. So I'm going to be answering some of those questions you guys had as I flip through this. I don't want to take make this video too long. Um, please get the coupon code down below. That is a gift from me to you. That is a gift from the good and the beautiful to you. In communicating with the good and the beautiful as we've been like sending emails back and forth about the coupon code and doing this, I have just felt only warmth. They really just want us to feel empowered and to um, feel that strength and confidence to teach our children. They have such a sincere heart and they really are just invested in you and your children. They are. That is the impression that I get every time and that is why they're doing all of this. And you know what? That's why all of this is so good <laughs> because they create their curriculum with such pure intentions. They create the curriculum with such um, inspiration. It is their pure and good intentions that are seen in the book and are felt. And that is what makes this so good. I am going to open up the book. We are going to dive in. I'm going to do a flip through. And I just want to tell you guys how grateful I am for you guys on this channel. I really create all this content only for you to empower you guys. You can teach your children. You can. It does not take a lot of planning. Honestly, with this, it takes two minutes of planning. Okay, so let's dive right in. Um, let's go to the table of contents. So here we go. You can kind of see what they're going to be teaching. Measurement, subtraction, graph review, counting by fives, weekly schedule, making nine. Um, I'm just gonna kind of go down and you can see what, and you can pause it if you need to. Um, what is included in Math 1 Part 2? And I know there were a lot of you guys that, honestly, you just maybe were waiting for Part 2. So I know a lot of you are excited about this. Um, so as I said in my Math K video, I love how they set up the math. They set them up in sections. And with each section comes a story with characters. And um, you use a set of manipulatives. So in this section, it's going to start out with the marbles and it does come with the marble manipulatives and you can see those in my math one part one video. I show all the manip manipulatives. I'm not very saying that word. 
Um, but these stories are super cute and the story continues throughout the entire section. Um, and what I was saying in, what I was saying before is like, this is my prep pretty much. So I just like two minutes before I start a lesson, I open it up and I look at what my prep is and it tells you what to get out. I get that out and that is my prep. And then I literally just follow the lesson. A question I was asked was how do they get their practice? Um, because some math curriculums include like pages and pages of worksheet practice, right? Well, from using the math one part one, um, I am beginning to see that a lot of their math fact practice is in these bonus activities and in the games. So they're gonna teach the concept and they're gonna do a little bit of practice in the worksheet, but a lot of the practice is through the games. Drew absolutely loves the game. So I'm just gonna flip through, kind of, I'm not, I'm not gonna flip through every single lesson, but you can kind of see, for instance, here's a worksheet. So if you were to look at this curriculum, you might look and go, well, that's not enough practice, but roll and solve. So this is an example of like a game. You would get the dice and then they get to interact and play a game as they're doing the worksheet. So, and then here's an example of like practice for subtraction. So you're going to get out subtraction street, which is a game included, and you're going to follow the game instructions. And I can tell you that Drew loves the games. And a lot of the games they can do on their own. So you can have the game out for them um, and they'll be doing it on, on their own while you're working with another child. So I love that. Okay, so missing a dense. Missing a dense. This is good to, to see. Um, missing numbers. Okay, money review. Drew has really been catching on with money. Money bingo, money math. Um, oh, so cute. These spin and colors are great. Drew really loves them. You get a paper clip and you put it, you put your pencil with the paper clip right there and then you flick it and it spins around and it lands on a number and then you fill in the number. So nine plus eight lands on eight equals and then you find the little ant and color it in. He, he's loving this stuff, see? So this kind of shows you how to do it. Um, and then bonus activity, Drew has loved these where they cut it out and put it in here. And I actually have him cut everything out on his own. Um, it takes up a little bit of time and I can work with other children. So counting by fives using nickels. Okay. Measurement practice. I love how they do the measurements. It's so visual and, and it puts them in touch with like real life and nature. I mean, he still remembers the inchworms from kindergarten. <laughs> he still does. Toy graphing, stuff like this, great. Um, so I'm just kind of gonna flip through. Measurement in feet, so you're gonna move on to feet here. Roll and solve. Oh, so cute. That is adorable. Pyramid. And it also includes a lot of art, I love that. Um, and another one of your guys' questions was, does it really have a lot of, you know, does it have Jesus and God in here? Well, in my experience with learning it, God is woven in. It's principles that are taught, good principles, good family principles, um, like respecting one another and, um, you know, learning how to push through hard situations and just good moral principles are taught through this. Okay, greater than or less than. Um, so, fact. here we go, measurement practice. We move on to section four, and it changes to another story. So, another cute story for section four. Um, oh, so cute, missing numbers. Like, stuff like this. Oh. So beautiful. Fact, here's another fact family house review. Ordinal numbers, building numbers. Okay, so here we go, building numbers. And it comes with these little bricks in the tens, the ones, and the one hundreds. Um, and we, I just loved that, so cute. 
Also, Domino Match is another activity where you can get practice with the little domino cards they give you. Here's shapes. Okay, so place value. And place value is something that they're learning every single day in their daily dose. Place value. And Drew has that down. Like, he has it down to a T. Um, there's place value. Brick matching. So they're going to be counting the tens, the ones, and drawing a line to where they go. Symmetry. Drew totally caught on to this. He loves symmetry. Ten more, ten less, with a little story and art. They always take these cute pictures of art and make a math story out of them. Oh, so creative. I love these cones. Oh, so cute. Expanded form. So, how many tens and how many ones? Very good. So pretty. Flower shop figures. Oh, so cute. So, scents, kind of in expanded form. Write each number in expanded form with the flower shop. That'll be really good for him. Multiples of 10. Oh, I love these little dot to dot things. Um, subtraction, multiples of 10. Very good, so 50 minus 20. Estimation and review. Awesome, oh, so cute. Look at these little books. I'm just dying here. Oh, another cute little cut and paste. Oh, I love these. I want to do them. One fourth. He's learned one half, so here we go on to one fourth. This will be really good for him. Oh, and here's another game, Doubles Dash. He loves Doubles Dash. Let me focus this. Doubles Dash or Barnyard Bonanza. He loves both of those. So as you can see, those games act as review and math practice. Um, so you might be looking at this going, oh, there doesn't seem like there's that many worksheets. But as you pull out these games, they can play them on their own. They can play them with a sibling and they practice their facts. It's, it really is working. He looks forward to practicing his math facts. Solar system sums. Oh, they just keep getting better and better, I'm telling you. Counting on from two digit numbers. Okay, I'm comparing numbers. These are like greater than less than. I'm gonna kinda, oh, look how beautiful this is. So pretty. One dollar, so they're doing money. Dividing, dividing numbers. All right, so here we are on a lesson 105. And how adorable is that? Measuring different parts of your body, coin sort, regrouping. I'm just gonna kinda jump forward, find the missing number. Um, taking away nine, cute little worksheets and graphing and sorting, um, clockwork, that is super cute, 12 minus, adorable little worksheets, subtraction practice. So I'm going to skip into the last assessment so you can kind of see what the end goal is for math one. Um, let's go to the very, and these are all the appendix. This is appendix. Okay, so this is the last assessment, and that kind of gives us an idea of what they're going to come out knowing um, after doing math one, part two, the whole math. So final assessment, you're going to do oral questions, half and one fourth. Um, symmetry, you're going to count by twos to 100. Circle the shape that is a hemisphere. Underline the shape that is an octagon, pyramid, trapezoid. They should know all those shapes. Um, how many seconds are in a minute? How many minutes in an hour? How many hours in a minute? They are going to be able to write the date. Drew knows that really well. Um, time, being able to tell time um, to the quarter, the half hour, and the hour, and then um, counting by fives and patterns, even numbers and odd numbers. Find, let's see, these addition problems and comparing two equations, greater than or less than. This is really awesome. Um, writing the number that comes before and after. 
exact family house. So using the mini me measuring tape, and that comes with the activity box, you're gonna measure in inches. You're gonna write your answer there. And also adding up money, we have the pen. Last page of the final assessment. So it says how many groups of tens, how many groups of ones. You have these subtraction problems. And then congratulations, you've completed math one. I hope this helped you guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Again, check out my math one part one for the manipulatives and activity box detail. But um, anyway, thanks for watching and I cannot wait to be back soon.